Hello. I am Ernest Bragstein, famous German composer and pianist. Today I will be showing you some funny clips and as the filthy Americans say, chunk. As a young boy, I found many pleasings in nature, such as hitting wood. But I figured that's a genius way to do it without an axe. Instead, I could find that molecules accelerated faster when using one's cranium structure, not a barbaric piece of metal. As a boy, I grew up in one of the finest geographical settings of the 13 colonies. There were, of course, slight flaws such as felinuses, ferocious little lynxes with their muscles and their clock tight buttocks. They disgraced my neighborhood as they have disgraced every home now. <sighs> this autumn air is just fine in this season of winter. As I wish, those days would last forever. It's a young fool. <laughs> but, alas, those days will fade now and then into eternal portals of piano. As a young boy, the autumn days were full of foolishness and stupidity. Those days would last forever, but yet not soon enough were they gone. Yes, I was a young gangster slash vandal. I used to do these things all the time when I was little. Ring and run was just one of them. In fact, I did more. They were not nothing alike, but they were so awesome. After 50 years, the war was over. Me having violently, valiantly surviving the war, began to celebrate. After doing many research, I found out that the source of my immortality, or for age, in fact, was actually through my genetic construction of my cornea. Who would have thought that corneas would house the destruction capable of immortality? We do not know this, but it was worth a try. This is my study. I have researched everything in this room, proving that I was an immortal man. 
not a mortal woman. And as the Africans, I have gone there, and as you can see, I found spirits in boats. How did those get to Africa? I mean, you... Oh yeah, they always used spirits. Anyway, I took up playing the piano as a pastime for my immortal genius and anger. So, now you know how it is. That's my way of life. Is Alas, I am old now. And in my old age, I must... <coughs> I must pay my respects to my dad's grandfather. Please, come with me as I offer him something, something to repay his kindness to me. It will not be easy, but I must do it. I must. Now, wait for me while I sleep. W. Brandstone. I offer you this olive branch from when, from when Moses first founded our large continent. Please take it as an offering. <laughs> My dad is down there. Come out, daddy. Oh, my God. 